Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 6 of our slow and immersive playthrough of Hatsvain 4 as Kingdom of what began as Kingdom of Hungary but is now Austria Hungary and we are on our way to restoring the Empire counting down the days to offer our protection to Czechoslovakia which is currently under assault by the German Reich here which has actually not sure there wasn't any civil war in this uh, and we haven't had a civil war German Reich has held strong uh, yeah, we have another operative. We founded a spy agency uh, in the previous episode and recruited one agent. Now we actually have another. Unfortunately, did not get any new nationalities, but we did get a linguist, Andres. Andres Vi Vilok. Increases chance to acquire target nationality on completion of an operation. Okay, and the safe cracker. Uh, okay, let's get Andres. Okay. And we shall put him to build a network in Bucharest as that will be our next target because the oil in Romania is what's going to power Austria-Hungary forward. Basic engine researched. Excellent. Let's go ahead and go for the improved engine straight away. Uh, or, or do we go for the industry? Hmm. Factory output. Get, use this 100% bonus wisely. Uh, hmm, question. Let's have a look. What do we have available? It would be nice to power through and actually be able to to design a tank that we need and actually start producing it, right? And to do that, yeah, I guess we should we should just focus on getting the engines. Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and power through the armor techs, and then we'll power through the industry techs because right now. It's not the industry we need, we need the designs. <clears throat> and did we manage, did our spy manage to find anything out? No, not yet, we need to get this up to 10%. Hmm, we'll see. <clears throat> we'll see how that works. We did get a, an elusive gentleman, Raphael Gungel, to run our spy agency as well. Um, yeah, so far we are now saving quite a bit of political power, which we will need to gain additional building slots eventually. But in terms of our construction, we are actually constructing infrastructure now. Hmm, maybe some, some more military factories while we have that big bonus won't hurt. Upper Austria. Should we? Hope, hopefully, this is a defensible position. And again, we're not sure, so we're doing the protect protect Czechoslovakia focus at 10 more days hopefully that means we'll be able to divide either get Czechoslovakia to join Austria-Hungary or divide it up together with the Germans rather than um, yeah rather than have to fight Germany for it we shall see I'm really hoping I am correct in the way in the way this focus actually works okay insufficient resources tungsten to be honest, we could just trade for tungsten with someone. Who should we, who can we trade it? Let's maximalist Portugal. Hang on. Maximalist Portugal. Is that communist? Oh no, we're not trading with the commies. Um, hmm. Trade tungsten. What, what do we? What are we using tungsten in? It's our artillery. Yeah. Okay. We really do need tungsten then. Let's go trade tungsten. Guangxi. No, let's get it, give it to Guangxi, I guess. Sweden. Norway. Let's ally up with Norway. Maybe Sweden. A bit more conservative. Let's go. Land route through Germany. Nice and safe. Okay. We do need... Hang on. Construction-wise. No, we still... We have 17 available civilian factories we're going to get two more through a focus okay that's fine for now let's build those military factories then commando training done okay a little too late but fine diplomatic training cryptology department uh i guess steel blueprint effectiveness Gordon strike anti we don't need any of this let's get maybe suicide pills that's an easy one and it's only five diplomatic training 
propaganda. Maybe throw a wrench into the Italian Italian politics, given they are they do have a strong fascist presence there. It would be nice to secure that flank for ourselves. Hmm. Okay, maybe for now let's just get let's just get suicide pills. Actually, let's get the cryptology departments. I mean, it's eight. I didn't. Yeah, we're gonna take away eight factories from <clears throat> construction, but that's okay, I guess. Okay, recruit recruitment in Europe is on. Effects when selected. A local agent from the Swiss Confederation becomes available for recruitment if we have an open operative slot. This agent will be harder to detect. Yeah, okay. So this is what we should have pressed when we're getting the second guy, but fine. We will make some upgrades and hire a third agent. And yeah, get him get him that way. We'll make use of that thing that way. We have some divisions on us on a side to a command. Let's go ahead and assign them. Uh, yep, so we got okay, we'll get a second division out shortly. And the battles with Germany rage on. That will not deter us, however. Okay, protect Czechoslovakia. Let's have a look. Bohemia returns to the crown. Following discussion at the highest level that ran late into the night, the Czechoslovakian government has decided to accept our offer and proclaimed Otto von Habsburg the King of Bohemia and Margrave of Moravia. The soldiers of the former Czech army have sworn an oath to their new king and emperor and the civil administration of the realms has been fully integrated. Okay, another step on the way to reclaim our birthright. So Czechoslovakia in three hours joins Austria-Hungary. Austria-Hungary annexes Czechoslovakia. Boom. Okay. Excellent. Now, we're not at war with Germany. Please, please tell me. Yes, they're only at war with France. Hopefully, they did not get too accept, upset about this. Uh, unknown focus. Okay, let's improve relations, please. <laughs> Let's do everything to improve relations with Germany. As I can see how they could be a little bit bitter about this. Uh, it could be. It could be. But the Czechs saw reason in our proposal. I mean, I mean, they had options. Well, we gave them an option for independence. At least they saw their options. It's just that, uh, you know, clearly the proposition was superior. Backed up by 14 divisions and a German Right, but you know, it was free choice. Free choice to rejoin the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Now, quite lucky actually, I was pretty sure we we're gonna have to fight them. Uh, never never played Hungary before in my life uh, as Hoi in Hoi 4. Never played Czech Republic to be honest, never played Austria obviously. I played well, Yugoslavia obviously on this channel. And I think I tried, no, I tried Baltic States, but never this, it was quite fun. Uh, okay. Well, as long as we're friends with the Germans, okay, we'll have to smooth this over. Send them some sausages, beer, but fine. We would, let's have a look. Not, not too familiar with diplomacy in Hoi 4. Ooh, non-aggression pact would be nice with Germany. Yeah, that's, that's what we should aim for, right? Because once that is secured, then, uh, you know, we focus on our sphere of influence, they focus on theirs. Okay, let's see. What did we actually get though? What did we get? We got a lot, to be honest. We got a lot of manpower now, right? Given well, this is all core as well, guys. How sweet is that? No, actually, sorry, Zudetenland is not core. Right, the foreign claims. No, it is it is all core, right? To us. Occupied territories, yeah, it is all core. 15.7% million population, nice. So that has almost doubled our population right now, right? Yeah, that means doubled our manpower. Nice, this is very good for us. Uh, factories, we now have 31 instead of 15. Civilian factories, 50. Wow, to be honest, uh, how about we... Let's see, let's drop these down to last. Let's, let's fix these up next. In fact, let's just prioritize fixing. This, will, this won't take long. 
And then we finish building infrastructure in Upper Austria. Uh, frankly, I would like to build maybe nine more, nine more civilian factories somewhere in central. Let's just keep this up for one, two, three. That's five, right? Five, eight. Yeah, we'll build these. Some of these will go to consumer goods, right? But let's we do this. I feel like we have more than enough military factories now. We'll put, I mean, I do want to use that 50% bonus, but it's not really needed. Right, then Tyrol, Lower Austria can all go down. I mean, Upper Austria. It will give us more resources, so I will keep this one on. Just, and we are halfway to completion. Now, in terms of resources, natural resources, I mean. Okay, wait. Where, where's, wait, where did they go? Hang on. Why are there no resources in Czech Republic? Okay, we have exiled divisions. Exiled, what does that mean? Exiled divisions. Infantry group. Oh, in the in foreign territory. Okay, let's get them all back home. Free military factories. Okay, we're about to research hopefully up five more days. So let's allocate okay, we'll allocate ten factories here. We're gonna allocate maybe three here. One more each, the Air Force. We still have two left. Uh, let's put... I'll put two more on artillery, just so we finish reinforcing these. We will put some of these on tanks, so it was still nice to have very three. We will design that in a second. Ooh, we do need to actually... Yeah, let's, let's have a, we'll think about what gun we need for our tanks shortly. Now, what we do need is to... Well, I'll, I guess, oh, well, hang on. I was going to unpause at slow speed and re reform our army, but first of all, we need we need to look at our focuses. Okay, what's next? Claim Transylvania. The area of Siemenbergen was unfairly taken from us after the last war. It is time to reclaim it. Northern Transylvania owner is not faction with Austria-Hungary, fully dependent controls. Okay. Claim Transylvania against claims on Transylvania, Krisana, Transylvania, and Banat. Okay, let's have a think. Banat, I think, is this. No. West Banat. Serbia, Moravia. Okay. Budvina, Croatia. Wait, where is the compliance, resource, infrastructure, factions? Okay. Okay, not, not sure whether if there's a map mode to actually just tell us what the states are called, but here's North Transylvania, Krisana, Transylvania, and Banat. Okay, so we take like a good piece of Romania. Importantly, we take the supply hubs. Uh, that puts us right on their border with Bucharest. Not a bad idea. Claim Galicia. What is this? Claim Krakow, Stanis, Lao, and Lwów. The state of Poland is nothing but an artificial construct. It can be created and dismantled as necessary. Oh, I apologize for reading that out loud for all my Polish viewers. That is certainly not true, but we are in 1938, however. Oh, God, the Poles. Poor, poor Poland. Uh, we will. I was actually thinking of making a playthrough as Poland as well, maybe. We will do one on this channel for sure. Just to just to show this world what Poland is capable of. But this is Stanislav, Krakow, and what, what else did we get? And Wolf, okay, yeah, these. Yeah, I guess that, that, that looks like, you know, Austria-Hungary to me. However, Poland is not being a pushover in this scenario. However, right, they're actually winning. They're turning fascist as well. Okay, let's... Hmm. Hmm. These are core states. So this is another 3.8 million. 2 million. 3. That's another like 10 million of population added. That's very nice. That's lots of manpower. Any resources? No resources in here. Oh, okay. Some, oh, some oil. Okay. This is actually nice to get. 
Poland does seem to be quite militarily capable now. Uh, okay. But these are our focuses. To be honest, to this end, let's go ahead look at our spy agency. We do have a man, our man in Bucharest. Let's actually send a man, Otto, who is an expert in infiltration to Warsaw so that we get get a bit of a handle on what we're dealing with. Okay, we do have a little bit of a handle. We're getting 25 to 69 divisions versus ours 20. Yeah, I don't think we want to poke Poland just yet. Are we capable of poking Romania? Not really either. Therefore, we just sit tight. Well, actually, actually, let's have a look what we actually inherited from, uh, from our Czech friends. What is this? Seriously. ZH-29. Uh, recon and some cavalry. Uh, not sure. Please. Hmm. Not sure about this. Please. This is the Czech, Czech infantry division. Okay, we actually have more manpower than this because we will we will disband this at some point. But okay. okay, these are like the good divisions. Let's go ahead and put them on the border with Romania. Give them an offensive line, uh, kind of here, right? So we want to get the supply point in Cluj. Clu uh, so that will be... And then we have some mountaineers in here. Uh, perfect. So that was our kind of main strike force. Now we do have army too. These are mostly Austrian. Yeah, Austrian divisions, which are kind of more, more about digging in and just defending. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see, where do they go? Maybe we put them on a border with Italy. Is this is something we need to worry about, maybe? Six divisions, right? Potentially. Might we have six divisions? Just just to make sure, you know, Italy or France or someone doesn't declare on us. Then we have these guys. Now, what are you? What are you guys? Uh, yeah, basically all of these guys. Right. I mean, you're not assigned anywhere. So it's kind of all of this stuff. That's 40 divisions. All sorts. I mean, we definitely don't need these cavalry divisions. Let's just go ahead and not waste manpower here. Those, yeah, all the hussars are going into retirement. Right. <clears throat> so I just want to move move this. Cool. Army under our field marshal. Hmm. I mean, just in case the Germans, uh, you know, do want to make sure that. You no, know, we don't. Don't get any pushback. As, as I mentioned, I do understand if they could be a little bit b bitter right now. Richard Tesajic. Okay, he's Czech. Armor officer wounded. Uh, traitor will expire in 37 days. Okay, well, we'll put you in charge of your of your Czech compatriots. Right, however, 10 extra divisions, such as, for example, these reserves that, that are unnecessary. Okay, there's another cavalry division that we can probably get rid of. More reservists. Okay, five extra divisions in here. Okay, we even have a infantry troopen division. What is that? Like, why is it... Why are these in German? I wonder. Surely this is not... This is not Czech. Right, for sure. Infantry troopen division. Albert Lanner. Interesting. I don't know what happened there. Okay, wow. Just plain infantry. 
Uh, okay, let's get rid of the green divisions since. Or the ones that are just like. Let me see, just pure. Pure infantry. Which needs to be okay, so what? Peshe. Peshe divise. Yeah, okay, so the type of division this is, for example, is just pure infantry. So let's just disband this. Because I don't want to reform it. Uh, hmm, hang on, let me think about this. Okay, more mountaineers. Okay, we do need to get rid of five divisions so that this guy can just get on with defending the Czech border. I feel like they are these guys, so... The guys that are sort of being upgraded or something. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, they're just pure infantry with like nothing else. So why don't we? Okay, definitely can get rid of five of them. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Forty-five thousand manpower. Right, we'll train it. We'll train it back up. Yep. So there we go. Let's see. With this, right? So let's kind of just defend. Okay. Bit of a reorganization. Now we do need to select national focus, so we can claim Galicia from Poland, claim Transylvania. Then we we'll march to the shore, and we get North Slovenia, Ljubljana. Okay, this is this is more about uh, Yugoslavia. A true great power requires access to the seas. The coast of the Adriatic is our birthright. That's nice. Bosnia, all of these we could get. And it would be nice to get them now, because right now uh, Yugoslavia is divided. However, Yugoslavia is... is independence of Yugoslavia is guaranteed by Great Britain, France, and Romania. If France is guaranteeing Romania. Hmm, not sure we want to get into a fight with France just yet, although the so-called... Hmm, we have to monitor this. We have to monitor. If France collapses, we will launch... It will be a good time to launch the claim Transylvania focus. However, perhaps... Perhaps there is no scope in doing that right now. What can we do right now then? Civilian industry, domestic arms industry. Okay, we have more than enough military factories now. So I think we have to go left here because I do want to get this 10% research bonus. So let's get go ahead, civilian factories. We could also establish air force. Uh, but that's, yeah, that's not good because we're not going to go down domestic arms industry. We're not going to get these pretty good bonuses for air force, admittedly. Yeah, I, I do. I'd rather get the research speed. 10%. We discussed this in previous episodes, but effectively... Hang on, I mean, this is research speed plus 10% to everything. Infrastructure, construction speed, and civilian factory. This is a really good one. Invite foreign investors. Not very thematic, though, since we're going for, like, you know... Well, although we're not, we're not saying no to the world. We are restoring Austria-Hungary, right? We're not necessarily... Uh, well, we are. No, we are. We are bitter against over France and Great Britain, right? Having partitioned us after the Great War. So we are a bit bitter, so we don't really want to invite any foreign investors. On the other hand, also thank you for someone pointing out in the comments, I keep confusing this, I confuse this mutually exclusive ones with these, we can actually get support urbanization, which gives us three building slots in Northern Hungary in our capital. This is a really good one, and we will get that. Perhaps not quite the the immediate focus. So we could we could either get three military factories, get a research slot pretty soon, get five military factories and a research slot, and then get some really good, like an amazing air force. Right? We get two years ahead of time and a hundred percent research bonus. Right? That would be that would mean uh, I mean we'd get 1940 like in fact, we get 1944 variants, like, very, very quickly. That would be pretty incredible. 
we're basically flying around in like future jets by the time we get to these uh sorry where's the research by the time we get sorry we're looking at focuses by the time we get there or we go down the left hand side we get two civilian factories which we don't really need and we could now build very quickly we get this 10 percent research bonus for the rest of the game really research speed plus 10 percent it's pretty massive though for anything like you know the nuclear uh, atom like nuclear bomb project all of that 10 percent for everything and we get the research slot all the same basically instead of more factories we get more resources arguably we don't need any resources 12 steel would be nice would, would trade away six of that so net we would get six so not bad so we could go civilian industry we could go autarky soon and start building up our own rubber now this is a good one this would actually make use of our construction is in the best way possible right now but 10 percent research is and, and the second research slot is so nice oh okay this is definitely i feel like a priority now what other options there are there is our other option is army maneuvers uh, okay we get these doctrines which we now kind of mm, messed up a bit okay but this will be a waste basically since we went with superior firepower we might be able to change that but let's see the bottom this will get trucks we'd get armor technology mobile warfare doctrine further reductions field hospitals and logistics company would get bonuses uh, develop tanks Ooh, we'd get mm, this is really good we could get some really good tanks going two years ahead of time man mm. this is interesting this is one two and get these spend like basically 77 280 days All right so by mid 1939 would get the two years ahead of time penalty removed for one armor technology and get the trucks uh, which you know we're soon gonna get these it would be nice well oh, this is annoying i guess we are gonna we're gonna build we're gonna start building 1938 soon variants and then we'll get 1943 right reduce that by two years ahead of time and then we switch from 1938 straight to 1943 and we can afford to commit one research slot to these, right? And create amazing medium tanks. We, we will do that. We need to get these two as well, though, and get some guns. But we will get the chassis pretty soon. Uh, hmm. yeah, but what, what do we want? We want civilian factories. We want 10% general research speed bonus resources i mean this is still kind of useful i mean terms of research bonus is nice not that nice though i mean other research slot is very nice but that that, that comes like again basically in 280 days do we want to have two factories kind of irrelevant 10 percent research bonus and construction bonuses nice and we're actually using that now uh resources bonuses right now kind of either way and a research slot that's 280 days of focuses right or we get 10 army experience, 50% construction for one land doctrine. We go to mobile focus, useless. We get these tanks, we get the trucks. We might as well just research the trucks, to be honest. Like this is kind of, thing is like, this is useless, this is useless. These further down are nicer. Mm, joint tank procurement. Assault gun. Yeah. Now, I feel like this is a superior option for us to be ready. We're not going to be... Yeah, the tanks will need to, like, fight over, like, Italy or something, like, big powers. For now, I guess we go with these things, yeah. The extra research slot and the temps and research bonus over time. This will help us immensely. Yeah, I guess we do go. Yeah, and here... It would be nice to get these, but yeah, I feel like it's better to get 10% to everything. So let's go with the civilian factories. Okay, get this focus going. Uh, 
Okay, let's just have a look what else what do we have here. Rubber, we need two, we know that. Missing equipment production, toad, anti-tank. Yeah, we need to... Oh, that's another thing we need to... Yeah, we need research right now. Uh, we're powering through armor research, sure. Mm, let's let's think. But we, we need we need the anti-air guns, anti-tank guns. Let's see, let's have a think. Okay, unassigned divisions. More unassigned divisions. You, sir, are you that weird division? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and disband you. More unassigned divisions. You are also unassigned. Let's also disband you. Uh, more. Okay, mountaineers. Mountaineers, maybe we don't want to. Let's go and assign them to this guy. We will change the template of the mountaineers soon. Available planes and reserves. Northern Hungary. Yeah, we have like all sorts in reserve. Can we just like put these on the market or something? International market. Selling. Sell equipment. Add equipment. Could we sell like all these crappy airplanes? Tanchik, check. Uh, that's fine. Maybe it's fine. Let's just leave him there. We don't need the construction bonus right now. Anyway, decisions: Lo local agent recruitment, restore Austria-Hungary, dismantle the Czechoslovakian forts. No, it's okay. Gains this one. Land fort construction speed plus twenty percent. Coastal fort construction plus twenty percent for one hundred and eighty days. Civil factory. Use three Sudetenland. That's okay. Who knows what Germany is up to? We will not do that just yet. Let's fold these in. We don't, we don't really want to do any of this. Okay, we will recruit another agent, hopefully. Uh, Air Doctrine, Modify Officer Corps, Military High Command. Not much to do there. This is political power we could spend, but what do we spend it on? Armor division attack, air combat group, ace generation chance, ace generation chance, plus 10%. Okay, we'll do that when hostilities actually break out for now. We're okay. What do we do with our political power, though? Save it, frankly. That's the only thing we can do. Okay, let's look at our small arms manufacturer. We've gone with soft attack and reliability before. Actually, we do have semi-auto rifles now as well. And we could get breakthrough plus 6%. Yeah, let's get it. We're on the attack. Update equipment variants with latest designs. Uh, I actually will not do that because that updates... I think what this does is updates the Nuvia 39M. Wait, hang on. No. No, actually, wait. Okay, we now have like a ton of this equipment. Okay, sorry, this military organization. Okay, no, wait, that, I think that will then cost five for the Nuvia 39M. Okay, now we do have to spend five, unfortunately. And, uh, sorry, where's our production? Let's go ahead and actually start equipping this. Okay, obviously we have all this stuff in the stockpile. <clears throat> I think 10 should be more than enough, though. Uh... Okay, we do now, okay, we have two slots allocated to armor tech to get our tanks off the ground. We do need to... Uh, okay, this will get a 100% bonus for, so... Maybe we just do get... Uh, okay, infantry get these trucks and not wait for that. Thing is, we do have the bonus there to field hospitals as well. We're not in a major war just yet. For now, we're getting away with just building up our forces and bullying everyone into submitting. So perhaps we actually, yeah, we need a gun for our tanks. That's what we need. Now, anti-air artillery is primarily designed to shoot down hostile planes, although rapid-fire cannons can also be effective against ground targets. And here, what I really like is this basic heavy cannon. A weapon that can fire a large shell. With exceptional armor penetration and decent performance against soft target, its biggest drawbacks are the sheer size and cost, which make it too unwieldy to be mounted in most vehicles, not specifically designed to carry it. Uh, <clears throat> I hope this can be mounted on our tanks, right? 
It does require tungsten and chromium. But this does give soft attack and hard attack 2020. That would be very nice to get. You're right, because we're only going to be producing one tank. Reliability minus 25%. Deary me. Do we get? Does it get any better? Improved anti-air gun. Improved automatic cannon. No, AA. Hang on. This is what? Basic heavy cannon. Mm, yeah, I guess it's minus 25% reliability. Hmm. That's a tough one. It's 2020 though. Automatic cannon. Basic heavy cannon. Are we going to get any improved anti air gun? Improved automatic cannon. We're going to be fighting mostly soft attack. So perhaps, yeah, for our infantry divisions, it's best to add soft attack, right? Water loader. Okay, advanced heavy cannon. Oh, this one we are. Yeah, this one would be nice to add to our later tanks. Liability minus thirty percent. Jesus, production speed, production cost rather eight. Piercing one seventy. Okay, but well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Can we get basic heavy cannon in there? I mean, this is really nice for like one tank that can basically do anything. Right, because what are our alternatives? Our alternatives are here are medium howitzer, a lot of soft attack. Yeah, it's not, it's just more like a soft prepared artillery. Medium cannon gives soft attack to hard attack 15. Huh? Yeah, this is actually not a bad. Only three production cost. Yeah, I guess for starters, maybe we go with medium cannon. A general purpose weapon well suited to a wide variety of tasks. It excels at neither anti infantry nor anti tank work. But it provides a vehicle with a lot of flexibility. Piercing of 60. Yeah. yeah, well we need a flexible tank for our infantry division. So maybe actually this cheap and flexible. And then for our panzer divisions, if we create some, we'll have to go with anti-air. Right, anti-tank cannon. Basic high velocity cannon. Yeah, we'll see. This will give us more options. Close air support. Yeah, to upgrade our close air support, we do need... So we do need to get a couple of these just to keep in step with the times. Right. So these are nice to get right now. We are researching this. This, yeah. Let's just get at least some medium tanks rolling. Uh, this we should get a bonus to engineers. We're not defending just yet, right? Uh, this we should get a bonus to. Uh, should we just get industry then? To actually make use of that, all that power we have, efficiency cap. I mean, wait, hang on. I mean, right now we need output. We're not near efficiency cap yet. Let's just get output so that we can produce more, more of those tanks, more of that air force, right? So I guess let's power through and get this in 90 days. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah, we just get a, a kind of all-rounder medium tank. Uh, we do that, okay? Tank manufacturer because we have reliability plus five. That's good. Yeah, we need to reliability plus another five. Okay, that's this is what we need to get that uh, auto cannon. Production efficiency, production output, armor, defense, quality improvements. Yeah, we'll go down this way to get improved tooling. Though we need standardized components. So we need crew ergonomics. Here we get soft attack, armor, hard attack. Yeah, let's let's go down this then since we already have we're already one point in. Oh uh, no, in fact we could actually get more reliability and speed to our tanks. Let's go ahead and do that. And we can yeah. I would do this, so then we can put more stuff on them. And we'll see more armor and stuff. And get that bonus. Okay. Let's go ahead and do armor level two. With heavier and heavier anti-tank weapons being fielded around the world, the next generation of tanks will require even better protection. Yeah, let's go ahead. So 80 days and we should be able to start, uh, we'll design and put into production our first medium tank. Now we need to be mindful of the fact that we want to get mountaineers in 80 days. Yeah, we need to save up our army experience basically. 
Need to make sure we don't spend it all, all of it on mountaineers or on that. Oh, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Unassigned divisions. Okay, this is our division build. Let's assign it to uh, Ivan Hindi. No divisions in basic training. That's not good, but I guess, yeah, we could train up our Hungarian variant division. So we could. Get, uh, like, okay, let's just, yeah, let's just keep something training just so. We could build here 16, right? So maybe like four. We could do with four more. At least a couple. Let's keep those in training. We might disband some of these outdated templates, right? Uh, we do want to keep, again, some manpower because we will be adding, like, you know, Ranger Battalion. That's 500 manpower. We're going to add that to all, all of our divisions, for example. Okay. Here immediately, as soon as we move in, we obviously eat all the supplies. Uh, and perhaps, let's have a look at the supply. No, there's a supply point here, I guess. So we just need to, just need to, f you know, ram the, the Romanian border and immediately get those supplies. So we don't want to waste our construction and industrial capacity to build supply points there. Missing equipment, towed anti-tank, available planes and reserves, decisions. Available. Okay, let's just remove this thing so it doesn't bother us. Reintegrate the Empire form department. Okay. No enemy cipher being decrypted. Well, this is gonna take 960 days for Romania. I feel like looks like we're gonna likely we're likely to fight Great Britain. I'm gonna so let's start on them because they are guaranteeing Yugoslavia. Uh, let's also. What do we have? One, two, three, four. Let's get. I think I think this maybe it doesn't count. Well, let's get suicide pills. Mm. Okay, good, good stuff. We are progressing very nicely. We are <clears throat> very low supplies. Yeah, this is not good, obviously, but we're right next to the supply point, so that's fine. Okay, everything is going according to plan. Let's get the civilian industry and then maybe we do demand Transylvania. Do we know? Do we have a better grip? 17 to 46 divisions. Uh, the Germans seem to be okay. Can we get a non-aggression pact with them? No. Improve relations, 75. It will cost 10 to start improving relations daily. Well, that's fine. We have plenty of... Let's keep improving. Let's keep trying to get a non-aggression pact. Secure... Secure our north... Northwest. Um, okay, if we are going to do that focus with... Uh, Romania, we do need to be ready just in case. So I'm going to go, go ahead and take at least some of these mountaineers and reassign them to our uh, southern flank to the Romanian border okay get this person who has distinguished themselves we might disband this later let's see okay, we need six more let's get these three and three more okay let's see we let's get some tanks in there sure there you go. Let's get do that. German, Germany seems to be okay with us taking over Czechoslovakia. But we'll do the civilian industry and then maybe we do demand Transylvania from the Romanians. I mean, we don't want to get bogged down in a war, but at the same time, I feel like the Romanians should. Should. Uh, Okay, his assessment... Okay, let's see. Let's see what his assessment is like when we finish our focus. Yes. Because Ivan doesn't seem to think. Okay, we are stronger, but... Okay, let's see once we get the planning bonus up. Yeah, 
Yeah, hopefully Romania will not resist. Are they still guaranteed by France? Okay. We are constructing suicide pills. Will that give us <clears throat> another agent? Every fifth upgrade. This is five upgrades, but I think I'm, I'm not sure if cryptology department actually counts towards this. Okay, recruiting an operative. Yes, we are. It does count. I'm going to go ahead and let's go to our decisions tab. I mean, who is. Yeah, it's really Great Britain. That's the issue. The Soviets are obviously an issue. Mm, Italians. Recruit in Republican Italy. I feel like, yeah, this is actually on our border. Pretty close to us. But we could steal blueprints from Great Britain and stuff. So let's go ahead and recruit in Great Britain. I feel like they are the preeminent uh, global power. That's our enemy. Okay, nationalist Spain is beating down the anarchists. That's good. Keeping law and order. Okay, intelligence agency recruiting. Research being done. Okay, soon, soon guys, we're going to get our hands on some good tanks. And also rangers. That will, that will make our divisions much, much stronger. Gonna go ahead and actually increase these to like five because we will keep building these Hungarian our like kind of our <clears throat> core template division, so to speak. And if we are missing manpower, we'll disband all this new stuff we found. Okay, improved engines too. Excellent. Okay, so all we need now for our armor is the Okay, we are gonna start building these 1938 tanks. Oh, this is really annoying though, to be honest. <clears throat> Let's just pause. Do we just power through these? Uh, mm. Let's think about our... I mean, no, I guess we wait. We do the 1938 tanks. We build some of those, right? And then... In 1940, maybe, we get the chassis. We put, like, three research slots. Power through to 1940. No, but then we want... I feel like, no, we, we, we delay 1940, then we get that focus that gives us two year ahead of time penalty, and we just switch to like 1943 and 1941 engine and armor. And that's it, we switch once, but for now, let's just build up 1938 tanks. I feel like that will be our strategy. This is all kind of nice to have, but not necessary. We do need to get some like anti air going in case we're going to get bombed, I feel. It would also be nice to get the production cap up though. Okay, we're gonna get 300% on this in not too distant future. Should we get construction speed though? This will take 86 days. This will take 86 days. So we're already like, yeah, didn't really make like mass great use of this bonus. Oh, well, how about we research this with 100% and maybe we put one, one slot to actually, yeah, put it on this and power through to like really advanced industry with that 100% bonus. I feel like that's maybe a good reason. Maybe we get radio in the meantime and actually build up a radio. Hmm. I feel like anti-air is probably better. We can actually build up some anti-air over our key industrial regions as well. Make use of our construction. Anti-air artillery is primarily designed to shoot down hostile planes, although rapid fire cannons can also be effective against ground targets. Let's go ahead and do this one. How is our Air Force doing? Okay, we do now have two wings. Let's put these guys on training as well. All right, they, they, so our, we have two wings of close air support and a wing of fighters. Shall we deploy a... Where, okay, let's deploy another wing of fighters. Put them on exercises. So we have two wings of fighters now and two wings of close air support. We got some basic close air support in reserve. 
uh, all sorts of other like nonsense uh, in stock okay we do have plenty here so we're moved to reserves <coughs> why is this yellow though need needed for reinforcements okay so we are Oh yeah, so now they're in a wing, so now these are going straight to reinforcements. That's fine. We're gonna take off some of this some of these military factories. Alright, we're gonna take them off of uh, this production and into tanks. Quite a few of those, I would think. Uh, as soon as we get we also need to get rangers, so we, we might actually need some into put some factories into equipment. Okay, civilian industry done. The Bolivarian Alliance. President Lazaro Cardenas of Mexico's Partido de la Revolución Mexicana has announced the formation of a new bloc of nations in the Western Hemisphere. The Bolivarian Alliance takes its name from Simon Bolivar, an independence fighter who helped win freedom for many of the Latin American nations, now joining together in an alliance. Their declared goal is to seek an end to the continent's domination by old European and American empires by building strong socialist states linked together economically and diplomatically. Oof, this is a prelude to yet more fighting. God, the red the red menace is spreading. Now, sorry, so for us, what is important is that we completed our focus. What are our choices now? Get that autarky finally. Start building. Start building those uh, synthetic plants. That's a good one to get. And then we power through here to the other research slot. Or... Do we just go for claim Transylvania? Grab that now. While Romania is not guaranteed by any other people. No, I think I think we hold off. I think we hold off. Let's get Autarchy. France. Maybe France will like when if France starts a civil war, you know, with the communists or something. Hope so. Yeah, like we gotta kinda wait. And we once if France was not guaranteeing them, we could get into here. I feel like we give it another seventy days, right? Nineteen thirty-nine. Let's give it a bit of time. Let's get autarky, so we can actually start getting some of our own rubber. Though we don't really need that right now. Let's get all all the research first. Yeah, ten percent bonus to research. Hungary lies at the heart of Eastern Europe. We could well use our central location to attract foreign investors with an interest in improving our infrastructure and industry. <clears throat> Indeed. Let's go, okay, let's do this. We get the construction bonus, etc. Because autarky, yeah, we could get it and we could start building those, but the reality is we're just trading away one factory right now, right, to get all the rubber we need. Like, we'll, we'll need rubber when we can't trade anymore. Right, and we're, we can trade for now, so we can delay can delay that construction for some time. Not not great amount of time, but we can delay it. Better to get that 10% research earlier. Then we can a republic joins the Bolivarian Alliance. They seek, they seek strength in numbers. Okay. Well, let's see. Mexicans. Oof. Boom. Communist. Interesting. Interesting, okay. Uh, okay, well, let's power through our own. I mean, we are ready. Okay, the United States pursues interventionist policies. The peace movement in the United States has suffered a severe setback as Congress passed a joint resolution encouraging President Franklin Delano Roosevelt to use military force, if necessary, to safeguard American interests around the world. Mm. It appears that many in Congress have decided that it was American indecisiveness that allowed the Great War to drag on for so long and consume so many lives. They point out that within a few months of US troops entering Europe, the Great War had come to an end. An early intervention, they argue, could have saved hundreds of thousands of lives. The giant will not be sleeping this time. Second Vienna Award. Germany has recognized the validity of our claim, as we knew they would, and Northern Transylvania has been returned to Hungary. This is a historic moment, a day to celebrate. Aha! Well, that is very nice. Well. Okay, can we actually cancel this and just claim the rest of it? Hang on a second. So what happens now? Chrisana, Transylvania, and so, okay, we have now Northern Transylvania. 
But we can still get Chisana, Banat, and Transylvania. So we can get, still get these three. And... Okay, let's go ahead and cancel this. Let's go ahead. Yep. We, do, we got Cluey as well. Okay, so now we have supplies. Oh dear, this is all over for the, for the Romanians. Okay, guys, let's spread out. Right. Ivan. Ivan Hindi. Offensive line. I mean, we just need to get, to be honest, we need, like, spearhead into Bucharest, really. That's what we need. We don't need any of this. All right. In order for to make them capitulate, we need Bucharest. That's 20 victory points. Uh, Ploiesti. That's 5. That's 25. And then, okay, we'll, like, mop this up. Right, there's nothing interesting here, which is a Galati, maybe. Yeah, see, yeah, this is all like one. Yeah, to make the capitulate, we just need to get Bucharest, and then we, yeah, ram through to Constanta, maybe. But even this, this should be more than enough. Okay, great. That means next, second Vienna award. A treaty has been signed at Vienna following German arbitration that will see Northern Transylvania restored to Hungarian rule. The territory had previously been awarded to the Kingdom of Romania upon the conclusion of World War I, leading to a bitter dispute. Are these the first of many borders to be adjusted now that a new order seems to have been established in Europe? Here, here, indeed, Germany, our great friend. Non-aggression pact, still not possible, however, minus 33. German Reich has strategic reasons to be hostile to Austria-Hungary. Okay, we're not really rising above 75. Why not? Can we just... I'm just gonna keep spamming this because we have the political power. No reason to save it, really. So... Let's go ahead and do this. Hang on, and our operative can be recruited. There we go. British nationality, Richard Shapley. Tough and a safe cracker for blueprints. Yes, excellent. Let's grab him. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and build a network in London. Richard. Richard Shapley. Nice. Foreign agent recruited. Are we upgrading anything? No, we're not even upgrading anything. Let's get ahead and go blueprint 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 stealing. We should actually read out the background to all of these. We'll do that next time. Uh, hang on. Oh, let's go ahead and keep this unpaused. What do we know about Romania now? Do we, yep. Got a better grip. It's about 30 divisions, maybe. 30, 35. Uh, so our manpower in the field is 500,000. No, sorry, total manpower is 500,000. We got 250 in the field. Yeah, you, sorry. Army, our army is 400,000 up there. Yeah, 400. 400 in the field, yeah. Okay, so Romanians should give in. They should. Fine. We will do that. German Reich is still the top tension generator. That's good. So we're kind of flying under the radar here. <laughs> That's good. Now, I will actually have to pause here, guys. I think we're coming up on the hour. So, yeah, let's pause here. Exciting times again. We're expanding every episode. Next episode, we will try to take a bit of northern Romania and maybe even invade the whole thing. Uh, we'll see how we deal with Poland, although we might actually nibble, nibble at that as well, right? And that's it, once we're done with that, we have we secure the oil in Romania, we build up our armored core, build up our army, we have the more manpower here, this is really for the manpower, this will also give us some manpower. Onto this, a million men here, 600,000, we just added 200 half, yeah, excellent. Manpower, resources, oil, very, I mean, we're ready. Then we will collapse on the Balkans, probably, right, down to Greece. And then we can actually think about, you know, shaking up the world order. Gotta be careful around the Soviets, but us in Germany, hopefully we get a non-aggression pact with them, uh, right, maybe an alliance or something like that. But yeah, time for make a cut for now, though, guys. I hope you're enjoying it, and I really hope to see you in the next episode, but bye for now. Cheers.